What about Jada? What about Will? What about Will? What about Jada? Um, obviously, there are a um, a unique couple, and um, I found it, you know, kind of interesting that you know we know a lot that Jada is releasing. Was well, she just about to release her new book? Is stirring up you know, a little bit of headways on social media and is sparking questions. Um, and I want to be fair and balanced. And I think the questions are really revolving around, like, why does it seem like she's always emasculating Will? Or why does it seem like she's on the attack with Will? Why does it seem like she doesn't love Will? You know, all these different questions that's coming about, with, you know, in regards to their union. Um, I don't want to shift all the particulars of that, but had some good discussions and um, around this topic, and I want to center around the living soul, um, and just kind of speak and show what the living soul um, in their chart what it shows about them. Um, so, what is um, the connection that Will and Jada share from the living soul perspective? One thing you need to understand is that Jada, within her energetic profile, she has a quad nine. What I mean is, so she has a lot of, her whole, her whole energy chart is all nines. And so that signifies within the living soul system based off of her chart. There are um, definitely extremes um, that she will probably default to or entertain or go on different ways of extremes and so forth. And so I think on one front, uh, some of the things that we are witnessing, we just see her really going to the extremes. The thing is that uh, Will obviously is okay with it or can manage with that, right? So I don't want to get into the opinions part, but I want to bring out something interesting that Jay, Jada operates um, in a quad nine and um, Will operates in a four but then he also has a double in his um, ego ambition alignment as a seven. And this is all within inside the living soul, uh, soul guidance system. So I'm just coming, coming from that perspective. So the question is, what is, what, what's allowing them to be, despite all the stuff they got going on and, and the unconventionality that they show, why are they still together? Or why are they are working um, with each other? Well, what's the connection? Well, the connection is that they share a vibrational match. And as we know, any relationship, there is a vibrational match somewhere for that relationship to exist. That's just based off the law of resonance. Okay, so the vibrational match that they share in is actually in the nines. Remember I said um, that Jada has a quadruple, you know, nine. So, but Will and Jada share in the nines there. So what is that pointing to? It's just pointing to um, that there's a sense of emotional security that they share for each other or that they can rely upon each other within their own understanding of each other. Um, what's also interesting is that Jada and her, what we can say is her sextile number, it matches Will's ego ambition number as the seven in their charts. So what is this saying is that Will's number seven from his chart brings ambition, a sense of security, uh, willingness to take risk, adventure, structure to Jada's nine. So in the extreme of Jada, there's a part of a will that helps safeguards the nine of Jada, the extreme that she might operate in, she goes into the deep emotional swings. Okay, so their vibrational match uh, revolves around their ambitions. They both have strong ambitions that they share with each other, whether we know or not, it's not our business, but um, their vibrational match around their ambitions, their emotional security, and that's really big um, uh, with them based off of the energy profile and looking at it from the living soul, that emotional security is um is a strong piece and 
they're willing to take risks together or you know push the envelope uh and that sense of that sense of adventure so they they share in that and uniquely that's creates an unconventional bond uh with them and i, I use the word unconventional on purpose because there's an aspect in Will's alignment under the four that he embraces unconventionality. And also under that four, it brings a sense of ease. So there's an unconventionality that gives Jada space for her to be who she is, to be in the swing that she might go into, and also brings a sense of ease to her. All right. Um, which is you know very interesting. So it creates what I call an unconventional bond. Now, in reverse, Will, I mean, Jada brings a lot to Will. Um, a lot of us might not really know because sometimes, you know, that's probably not as obvious. But one thing we know, like I mentioned, there's an adventure tick. I call it an adventure tick that Will has simply because of the, um, he holds a, a, a double in his ego uh, ambition under the seven which means it has to be like this high stimulating, exhilarating actions that have to occur. And so just based off of observation and based off of intuitive understanding and just looking at the number lineup, it kind of points to, you know, this adventure tick that he, that he needs or that, that, that he needs to entertain at different times is very strong. And that's a part actually that probably can be self-destructive to him. So one of the interesting things you look at their, their chart is that they both share Qualities. And this is an example, everybody can sit there and be self-destructive, but they share in their union, I think I understand that you know, where their destructive tendencies can come in at, and they figured out how to protect it and safeguard it as much as possible as they can, okay? Um, so in that understanding, um, in Jada's quad nine, it can show that she can kind of go in these extremes of self-sabotage. And then in Will's Jada, I mean, I'm sorry, in Will's double seven, um, he can really get strong moving his ego and ambitions and can go so strong in his in, in adventures and stuff that it can bring challenges and compromises or a sense of some, some type of destruction in the relationship. And just for clarity, so some people, you know, a good example of an adventure tick is some of us, um, if we remember back when Dennis Rodman was playing basketball, especially for Chicago Bulls, Dennis Rodman had this sense of adventure tick, but Phil Jackson knew how to manage it. And I like to equate that to Will and Jada. Um, the reason why we don't see these crazy adventure ticks become self-destructive is because I think Jada behind the scenes understands how to be that voice in his ear, or be that presence that he needs for that emotional security to help him to guardrail him from himself, kind of similar to like Phil Jackson. Um, we got a glimpse right at the Oscars when Will, you know, slapped Chris Rock. Uh, some people can blame Jada or whatever. That's not where I'm coming from. But what I want to point out is he went to the end. He went to that extreme. And it was like, whoa, what's up with that? But the thing about it is, I, you know, I think they know behind the scenes that he has this aspect to himself to just go on this adventure tick and act on it. And we saw globally that he acted on it at the wrong opportune time and so of course that sent him in a deep reflection afterwards of course as it should um, but it makes sense will went to a deep introspection because will introspection actually um, is, is his six that falls up under uh his, his earth archetype so there's a sense that he needs to feel grounded interconnected with introspection. So Will's not shy from introspecting in some in a unique way. Jada, through her extremes and who she is, she kind of becomes like that reflector to him to help him to monitor, be like a barometer to him. To be like, oh, okay. Uh, this is what I need to do and adjust. So it's very unique. It's a uh, key word, it's unconventional. They share in an unconventional bond, according to the living soul. So it's not going to make sense to traditional view. It's not going to make sense to a certain lens, uh, especially if you're in the Western oriented aspect of relationships, because they have made the choice to 
be unconventional and figure out what works for them. So I just want to point that out. So that that connection that they really share is really revolving around that um, the ambition, the emotional security, the risk taking, the adventure that they really provide for each other. Notice I really say ideally love. That's not what their connection is really coming from. Their connection is coming from their vibrational match really resonate and exist at on the emotional side of things. And some people could argue love's emotion, but I'm saying, but the emotional aspect that they're looking for is security. That is really their connector. So that's why we might seem like people question, like, well, it seems like Jada really don't really love Will like that. Well, that's not what they are really are in, really in their energetic alignment. It really is that emotional security, the willing to take risks together, to share in each other's ambitions, push each other in those ambitions, safeguard each other when they want to just go, go to the left or to the right and also share an adventure or create adventures. So I think of one part, uh, the media bliss that we see going on right now is part of Jada, you know, and Will, they, it's an adventure for them. You know what I'm saying? You know, because there's Jada, one thing in her alignment, she has a lot of neutral. So she's not caught up in public scrutiny. She don't care, all right? Because she has the ability to be neutral to all of that. She knows, you know, she, she has a sense of emotional security if she feels challenged and wills able to provide that ease for her. Uh, and so, of course, they got years in together, you know, and they're in their 50s. So, you know what? They, they know they know how each other, how each other moves at the end of the day. is So uh, my thing is, is look at this as a learning opportunity to see an unconventional relationship at work, despite how it might look. It might look messy or whatever, but we can get past our, um, you know, our social bias or our lens of, or questionable things we have. It's okay to have those questions because something like, oh, yo, what's up with that? But let's just really look at it from an energetic point of view. Let's look at it from what the living soul is showing and see what we can kind of draw from it. So I just think this is a very good example as a case study um, to show that their connection is really not based off for traditional love, as we say love. It really revolves around this unconventional bond that stands upon emotional security, the vulnerability, you know, take risks together, create adventures together, uh, you know, share their ambitions, push each other in their ambitions, encourage each other ambitions, and to uh, safeguard each other. Security with them is a very big, um, that's their love language. That's their relationship language. It's security. It's not really about love. So a lot of people is going to throw them off if you look at it from the wrong lens. So. My take, some people ask me to share, and that's what I'm looking at from that from that point of view is uh, Will and Jada is really connected based off of security. Okay, so.